Welcome back everybody, uh, Triple Crown coming to you from Vancouver, uh, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, this is going to be the start of a Global War 1939 specialized units and facilities. Um, I guess I'm going to put this in a separate section of my channel so that uh, it'll be like a playlist of all the uh, different units that we're adding to 1939 so that if you're ever playing or you want to make a reference to it, uh, it's going to be there for you to find um, easily. So the topic of today or this video is going to be the military base. Um, probably an item that's been house ruled uh, by many of you in the past for different variants. Um, but the military base in 39, as you can see, this is actually the opening setup for the Far East Command. Um, and uh, they've, you can see they've got a minor factory here in Calcutta and three military bases around. Um, well, basically, what's the idea or the concept behind a military base? And the concept that we came up with was it's sort of like your country has sent military visors uh, into that uh, territory or country and sort of like, you know, like with the CIA or military advisors, they've gone in and they've recruited a bunch of units to, to join their cause or join the fight, so to speak. So that's the concept behind it. Um, so what does the military base specifically do? Well, you can purchase a military base. Well, first of all, if I just want to, I'll zoom in so you can actually get a closer look at it. But this was developed uh, by HBG, this specific sculpt is 3D printed from HBG. Um, they're available there for your purchase. That's a closer look. I've actually painted this sculpt, um, kind of a, a brown bronze um, kind of finish, but not sure if I'm going to keep with that color, but for now it works. Um, so you can buy these uh, in gameplay for the cost of five IPC. And what they do, well, they produce one infantry per turn for the cost of three IPC. So, you know, this military base, this is basically representing in this game, the volunteer uh, Gurkha army um, that, uh, you know, obviously volunteered for the, the Indians and, you know, for the cause of World War II. So that is why um, they start with three. And that actually, um, it's good that I'm pointing out this three uh, factor because... Uh, in this gameplay, um, no, every nation has the ability to purchase a military base, but you cannot have more than three on the game uh, game board at one time. So you're, you know, basically, it's going to help uh, nations, uh, you know, get more units on the board. Is this game breaking? No, but is it nice in certain areas to be able to produce uh, an extra infantry per turn? And where can you place the military base? Well, the rule in the game, what we've allowed is they can produce, be, be placed on any territory that you've controlled since the start of your turn um, on territories, uh, any territory on the board that uh, is worth one IPC or greater. So that can be an island territory, it can be in your enemy's territory, but that territory has to be uh, worth one IPC or greater. So that's the rule. Um, and also, to add, uh, the military base is not subject to strategic bombing raids. It's kind of like you have a bunch of military advisors and a couple complexes. Not really something that uh, we wanted to, at least yet, um, you know, allow it to be uh, under a strategic bombing raid. Um, again, there's a scorched earth policy, so at any time, if you want to destroy your military base, you can destroy it. If this territory is captured by your enemies or by the Japanese, the military base is automatically destroyed. Um, let's say a situation happens where you're you're inching forward, so you you've attacked this territory. Imagine it's an enemy control, and you've attacked this territory, and now you, now you're there for one turn, and you want to keep moving your forces forward. Well, when you've controlled this territory for one turn, you can now move your military base for the cost of two IPC. Um, you can only have one military base per territory. So if you want to move this military base from this territory to this territory uh, for the cost of two IPC, that's your choice, you can do it and it can produce uh, an infantry on the turn that it moves. Um, so I think that covers uh, all, of the, um, all of the military base. There's a few more little nuances which we're going to include in the rule book. For example, what happens if, you know, 
the U.S. has a military base in, in Normandy, Bordeaux, and then Paris is liberated. So that's gonna that, those specifics are going to be in the rule book, but that's the gist of it. Um, so everybody can kind of get a quick uh, overview of what the military base does. And to discuss, or I guess to close, uh, and I had to come up with something that... Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> under the advisement of Detroit. So the motivational, uh, I'm going to make, try and make mine about motivation or something to do with World War II or military history. So the motivation today is uh, I've had, you know, days or moments where you're just feeling down, feeling out of it. You're just not feeling like whatever, doing whatever task it is to, uh, to do on this specific day. And uh, a little trick that I use, uh, a little movie quote uh, from the movie the original Top Gun. We've all probably seen the new Top Gun and that's when uh, Maverick uh, Turns into goose and says I feel the need the need for speed um, and I use that uh, in terms of um, I imagine myself I imagine myself being Maverick. I imagine myself uh, You know, I love this movie growing up uh, you know climbing into the cockpit of an f-14 Tomcat and, and having to fend liberty and freedom. So uh, when, I, when I imagine myself going into this place, whatever it is, all of a sudden that I, I'm able to meet the demand of whatever task it is I'm trying to do. So that's my uh, little trick I use sometimes when I need that little extra boost of motivation. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and share uh, with anybody that uh, you feel is interested in learning more about Global War 39. Thank you for watching, folks.